Hello and welcome back. Next installment of building a website from scratch. We were using Winter CMS to build out a website for a fictitious construction company imaginatively called Acme Constructions. We've done quite a lot of work building out the CSS part of it and trying to make it look a little bit more presentable. But there's a lot more to it has some great ways of being able to customize the site and add your own functionality into it. I find it so much easier to work with this than say a CMS like WordPress. One of the things that makes this extremely powerful is the ability to do your own plugins. Winter in the documentation has a huge amount of information on how to build your own plugin. You can sort of see here, like starting with the registration of the plugin, going through the routes, extending Twig, adding into navigation menus, registering middleware. There's just so much that you can you can do with this, and the documentation here go, goes into a great deal of depth, looking at things like the construction of of it, how how the files are set up, the compulsory files that we need. You know, things like the plugin.php and goes on down to managing assets and all, all that sort of stuff. Now built with this information and some of the examples they've got in here you could start building out your own plugin you know, you know, from scratch. But there's even more. If we go into the console part of the documentation and look at the scaffolding section You'll see here, you can create plugins and components. And of course, this is all available just using fairly sort of simple standard artisan commands. Of course, if you're used to Laravel, this is um, being incredibly familiar to you. There's an even easier way of doing it. There's a plugin that creates plugins. The Builder plugin is fantastic, does a lot of this work for you. If we go into our back end, into our systems and plugin things, and we're going to install a plugin. It's going to be the builder one. So I'm going to start with winter. Um, it should come, yeah. Builder by that's the one. And what you'll notice here. Is this new icon up the top here called Builder. In this Builder plugin we've got access to all sorts of things. We can create a database, so set up all our database tables and migrations. We've got access to models, permissions, the back-end menu, so create menu items and put them up in the, in the top here and down the side. We have controllers for various types of behavior. There's version control and also localization for translations. Now that build is installed, that's a nice easy way to start building out our plugins. And that's what we'll start doing in our next video. So thank you for watching. I hope you've got something out of this. And of course, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff if you so desire. And I'll see you in the next one.